So we're looking at a heart lung specimen from another example of Tetralgia fallow with pulmonary atresia. And we've dissected the heart from behind so that we can see the systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries arising from the descending aorta. And what I want to emphasize here is one of those systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries that runs across here to the lower lobe of the right lung and supplies exclusively two of the segments within the right lower lobe. So this part of the right lung depends exclusively on this systemic to pulmonary collateral artery for its supply. But if we turn the heart over and we look at the front, we see that within this particular heart, there are also extensive intrapericardial pulmonary arteries supplying the remainder of the lungs, and they are fed through another systemic to pulmonary collateral artery. So we need to work out the interplay between the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries and the systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries that supply exclusively given segments of lung.